today Heidi has transformed grapevine balls into super cool spirit balls featuring cool to cast. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Jeff. Thanks. You know, I was thinking, what's eco about this? But eco also means that you can repurpose things and reuse things. And I found these wonderful um, twig balls at the local um, thrift shop. So it's actually, you can reuse, think about things that you already have around the house. So today I'm making spirit balls because I love to use the um, cool to cast. I just love cool to cast. There's so many things you can do with it. So let's get started. So today's, um, the one I'm going to show today is this, um, this fun guy. He just, he just makes me laugh. Um, and it's actually, it's on a twig ball. I put um, some felt on. So um, first of all, I want to show you that this is the package of how the cool to cast comes. There's two cups in a, um, a package. So it goes a long way. Today, we're only going to use like a quarter of a cup and it'll make probably a couple of um, the heads. So I put my cool to cast in a plastic bag. And I think I have a quarter of a cup here today. And I'm going to add an eighth of a cup of water. And I just seal it up. And then I shake it. Shake, shake, shake. And there's this wonderful um, mold. I think it's by Amico. It's, it's got all kinds of great um, little faces on it. And just shake it for a minute or two. Then I shake it. Shake, shake, shake. And there's this wonderful um, mold. I think it's by Amico. It's, it's got all kinds of great um, little faces on it. And just shake it for a minute or two. And then I just kind of make sure I, it's all um, mixed. And then I just cut out a corner. And then I just kind of start, whoops, let's get pouring it into the, to the mold. And just fill it up. Go to all the X. This one has been a well-used mold. Kind of fill it up. All kinds of really cool. You can see how far this goes. I mean, this was just a quarter of a cup. And I still have plenty left. I can actually fill some more. Now, remember, what you mixed up uh, won't be good after, you know, like an hour. So you need to make sure you use it. Tap your, be sure you tap your, your mold really good. And this one I did earlier, so it's ready to come out. And there you have, whoops. Now, the first thing you need to do on this particular one, um, this guy right here, is you need to paint it white. And it's just a, just a really fast um, brushing of white, white acrylic paint. Move this over. Oh. And just, even though he's white, we're gonna antique him and he needs to be, otherwise the antique will go right into the plaster. So we just need to paint him white and then do all of our details. And remember too, to make this a quicker craft, you can always hit this with the, um, with the hair dryer. And we're gonna move him to the side because I already have one that's already painted. And you can see all the different um, details that I did to him. He has little green eyes, he's got some cheeks, his lips, and I actually made his um, nose a little bit different color. Now to, <laughs> why is it always so hard to, to figure out how this camera works? You'd think I would be used to it by now. Okay, so then we're gonna take some black paint, just acrylic black, and we'll put a little bit down here, and add a little bit of water to it. And you're just gonna go over the dry paint. Remember, this is all dry. You're gonna go over the dry paint, and this is just kind of antiquing it. I know it looks a mess. And then you just take a paper towel, and you just wipe off what you want. And I just like it where it's not that really solid white. I like to just kind of get it where just what I want. And if it's if you've taken off too much, you can always add more paint onto it. See, that's where it's antiqued. 
Next thing you do is you would glue it onto the, um, the ball. And I would suggest probably on this project, if you have a lot of time, um, yeah, use your, use your tacky glue or your thick designer type super tacky glue, um, or just use some hot glue. And, um, and then all you're going to do is just start taking and just wrapping your yarn around, just wrap it around and around and around, and it, it's that easy. Super easy. Did I miss any of the, let me put this one in. This is the one that I have, and I'll kind of turn it over. Now remember, you could add beads to this. You could add um, any kind of little charms. Um, I also have another one here. And, oh, if you're asking what I use to antique it, it it's just black acrylic paint. And it's no, it, there's no particular um, pro product name, just any black acrylic paint. This one is a sun. It has some gold foil here. It has some, um, just some wire. And then I think Tiffany had another one on the picture. You could use anything. And it, it, it's all about, when we're, again, when we're eco, it's all about using what you have. Use, don't think that you have to do it exactly like mine. Use, it, use what you have. There's the other, the third one is over there in the corner. And I used some yarn and then some wire and some rhinestones. Lots of fun. And you know, you can name these two. They can have all kinds of names. To me, they just always have, um, they just seem to have a spirit of their own. Okay, are, are all of the, are the wires underneath, Heidi, how did you get the swirls when it was wet? No, I glued them after, okay, I have the head. Let's, let's pretend like this is the, this is the, um, the sun. I have the head, it's already dry, and I've already painted it. There's the other one. It's already painted, so you would actually make the wire, use like your, your jewelry, um, uh, pliers and to shape it and then glue the wire to the back of your head and then glue it down. I didn't I didn't put them into the wet plaster. It's a great a great idea to put them in the wet plaster, but it's I think it's a little bit extra. You wouldn't have to then you don't have to worry about it. Just glue them on afterwards. Any other questions? No more questions. Well, there, if there's any questions, um, there's the cool to cast. It's at shopcooltocraft.com. And um, if you, if any of you want to buy the heads, I do have the heads. I don't think they're on um, the shop cool to craft um, site, but I do have the heads already already poured. So um, any other questions? I'll um, I'll see them in the chat room. Thanks, everyone.